Whew, that was a big minute. Yeah. All right, welcome back. I'm Richard. I scooch into the frame. <laughs> Hey, welcome back. It's Minute 3. I'm Richard. I'm Brian. And this is the I Love You 3000 Minutes Podcast. The podcast where we time travel endgame style through the entire Infinity Saga. Starting right here with Iron Man 1. Now we're into the third minute. Richard, what happened? Continues with, you know... Some of the cockiness. Uh, he talks about how he still slept with twelve maximum cover models, even though he missed one of the, one of the what? Did I miss something? He slept with them. Is that you went twelve for twelve with last year's maximum cover model? What's, what's that, what else does that mean? Oh, <laughs> I thought he did a photo shoot. I thought he did a photo shoot. I thought he did a photo shoot. Yeah, Maxim doesn't this whole time like a stark photo shoot <laughs> calendar with the Ma- cover. Bo- Maxim doesn't do that. <laughs> I thought this entire time. As a seventeen-year-old, I knew what Maxim was. Just saying. I must have been 18. I don't know. <laughs> I thought he did a photo. You said, wait a minute, slept with? And there was a question mark. <laughs> there was a question mark over your head. Wait a minute, slept with? <laughs> if someone can make that, in- I- we can make that image of you You going, wait a minute, slept with? <laughs> and then a question mark over your head. If I don't feel lazy, that clip will come in right here. <laughs> and if I didn't feel lazy, we're back. <laughs> I swear, I thought he just did photo shoots with them. You're so right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what the hell is this kind of question and what gossip magazine is he reading that he got that info like it's just, that's way more invasive. I think I may have been coming from the non-invasive side of that idea. <laughs> those are those are guy rumors, man. It's like, hey man, those are like, those, those something high school dudes might talk about. Like, I mean, hey man, I heard be... I heard you got with so and so. Hey man, I heard you got with so and so. I know, but for him to get that information about him, the guy in the back, fancy man, he he has to have been reading like those horrible horrible magazines at the checkout counter of like a jewel osco or grocery store just those ben affleck and jennifer gardner getting back together magazines the internet was around right and so it's just they do make a myspace if there's pictures of him with all the maxim girls you know (laughs) but then also yeah but then (laughs) before that he does ask can i ask you a question like it's gonna be a big hey can i ask you a question oh yeah that's what he asked in the last one. But, oh, uh, he didn't ask that there. Okay, I mixed it up. It's going to be... He did say, can I ask you one thing? Or I always want... Something like that. Go back to the last minute. See how we go. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Wait a minute. Slept with them? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have that clip. <laughs> Unless I was too lazy. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Yeah, he says yes and no. March had a scheduling conflict, but luckily the Christmas sh- cover was twins. Okay, Christmas cover. I never. I literally was thinking of this like a calendar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, so he had a three-way. Yes. <laughs> Wrap it up. What? What's the? Uh, oh, the thirty rock thing. Shut it down. <laughs> This is the shut it down moment. It's a warning sign. Uh, we're only in minute three. <laughs> oh, I have no shame. This is embarrassing, but I love it. Oh, that's fantastic. All right. So, um, and then he goes fishing for questions a little bit. He says anything else. And then the shy boy in the back raises his hand. Very timid. Very timid. Um... And he's got the nuzzle, 
Not nuzzle? Nozzle. Muzzle. Muzzle? Yeah. The front of the gun, the front of the barrel. Okay. Uh, of the gun in his hand while he puts a, his fingers up, which I never noticed before. But he makes fun of him. Are you kidding me with your hand up, right? And he asks if it's cool to take a picture with him. And this is another thing that I remember from the book. Well, before I jump ahead, he says, yes, it's very cool. He says, I don't want to see this on your MySpace page. Makes fun of for his peace sign. Mm-hmm. calling it a gang sign. And then says, we'd all be out of a job with peace. And... When he said, I'd be out of a job. Not we'd all, but... Oh, yeah, true. I just... Well, technically, they would all be out of a job. I, I like how that's really natural exposition to explain more about the backstory and the character. So it's like... Yeah, we got oh, a yeah. little he, hint. What, like, what's... He, he makes business off of war. He makes money yeah. off of war. You know? Good point. Fist bump. I mean, we weren't going to mention that. Yeah. I'll bleep that word out. <laughs> um, so he starts saying, come on, hurry up, don't change any settings, yada yada. In the novelization, they were very clever, where they were kind of painting it from Tony Stark's point of view, I think, where they said, the shutter click had a really weird noise. Mm-hmm. It wasn't a noise that usually comes with shutter clicks, but now these cameras are so customizable, and it was actually describing the explosion. Mm-hmm. Then it caught up. as like, oh no, the Hummer in front of us blew up. Like, he was expecting a mm-hmm. and he thought they clicked it, mm-hmm. but that it was made to sound like an explosion. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Which I thought was pretty clever when I was reading it. Mm-hmm. And I think the novelization came out before the movie, which... If there was ever going to be a novelization for a Marvel movie, hell no before the movie. <laughs> no spoilers. Oh, right, okay. But then we get, boom! You know, uh, the way you were describing the muzzle click, it could have been the release of the rocket from the barrel of the rocket launcher, also. Boom! Like, oh, oh, that's a strange muzzle That From how you started describing it. No. Like, I was like, oh, wow, that's clever for the book to do. No, this. they were describing the boom boom. Mm-hmm, gotcha. But then we get that, a nice, big kind of establishing shot of, wait a minute, wait a minute, look, the Hummer in front of them blows up, Mm -hmm. but then we, and then we get an explosion Mm -hmm. of a Hummer blowing up with a Hummer behind them, Mm -hmm. but then we get a wider explosion, oh no, it's there, I thought I was being so smart, I couldn't see because the dust was kind of covering them up, Mm -hmm. the two Hummers behind the explosion, I thought they just weren't there. (laughs) <laughs> or, so hold on there's the explosion the two hummers behind it that's one and two. Oh, yeah. i thought they weren't there i thought this was like a dark knight thing where when the joker attacks the convoy the number of police cars changes i thought they just weren't there for the stunt or for the pirate yeah i didn't see that either i was yeah, but okay. they were there that's why i had that smug tone in my voice oh Mm-hmm. Oh, I caught so- I didn't catch anything. <laughs> <laughs> I caught another bit of egg on my face after that 12 year long. I thought he was in a photo shoot. <laughs> <laughs> and you could see he is clearly shocked and out of his element. He's Immediately. like. Immediately. And it's. It, you kind of think, what? You didn't know what explosions did? Like, what's the matter with you? <laughs> like, yeah. But, like, he immediately asks, what's, ha- what's going on? And then. The woman in the front says, contact left. So the explosion came from, the, or the whatever rocket, whatever blew him up was from the left. Mm-hmm. She's the first to jump out. Uh, he says, what's going on? What have we got? No one answers. She's the first to get out, and she's almost immediately gunned down. Mm-hmm. Um, because she's on that side. And then the guy in front who asked about the cover miles, who knows way too much about his sexual life. Mm -hmm. Uh, fancy man says jimmy so we got a name of the guy in the back stay with stark and now we know fancy man in the back is stark and jimmy says stay down pulls stark down he's doing excellent and the guy who just got out gets shot he's dead and it also hits the front window and something I never noticed, but immediately, as soon as that happens, Stark just pats his chest to see if he's been hit. Mm-hmm. And... He was told to stay with him, but... Yeah, stay with Stark. He says, wait, 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 give me a gun. Which, 
considering what we learn in Iron Man 3 of how little he actually knows about guns. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. But he says, stay here, turns around, and this is what I was talking about a minute two of poof, just a bunch of buckshot. It looks like. It could be. It could be a claymore or just some explosion. Yeah. Shrapnel. A lot of shrapnel coming through, somehow not hitting him. Yeah, This true. is the, uh, the quicksilver bullets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> somehow goes through the whole body or the whole wall of this Humvee, but doesn't hit anything past. Now, we didn't see, We're sure the shrapnel doesn't enter his chest and that's the... Yeah, they didn't really show the side of him that might have gotten hit from that explosion. So, I have a psychic feeling that it's something else that lands right next to him mm. and not these bullets. I don't know why. So we're shrapnel, watching these or... minutes for the first time ever. Yeah. And that's how we're playing it. Just like Granny Shipton Pod, who inspired this podcast. But no, these, are, these aren't the thing. But okay. we will get that in a future minute. Okay, okay, okay. Anything else you want to add about this glorious minute? No, I'm ready to... For the next one. All right, that's the end of this minute. I'm Richard. I'm Brian. You've got an army. We got a Hulk. No, we don't. Wait. Oh, yeah, that was the line. We've got a podcast. Podcast.